21 years after Abacha death UK discovered a fresh 82 billion naira, 211 million pounds, looted funds. A bank account containing 211 million pounds, approximately 82 billion naira, has been traced to a former Nigerian military dictator, General Sani Abacha. The money was recovered and subsequently confiscated in Jersey, Channel Islands, on the request of the United States of America government. Late Abacha was said to have laundered the money through the US into the Channel Islands before his death in 1998. According to a report by Metro UK on Tuesday, the money was put in accounts held in Jersey by Doraville Properties Corporation, a British Virgin Islands company. The report said the money was now being held by the government until authorities in Jersey, the US and Nigeria come to an agreement on how it should be distributed. It was gathered that Jersey would keep the £211 million loot in its criminal confiscation fund, which could be used to pay for a variety of projects on the island. Now a brief rundown of late General Sani Abacha for viewers who might not be opportune to know him. Late Sani Abacha, was born in September 20, 1943, Kano, Nigeria and died on June 8, 1998, Abuja. He was a Nigerian military leader, served as head of state from 1993 to 1998 after he died from a brief illness. Abacha received his training at Nigerian and British military training colleges. He rose through the ranks in the Nigerian military and by 1983 had achieved the rank of brigadier when he assisted Ibrahim Bevanji in overthrowing Shihu Shigeri. Muhammad Buhari then became Nigeria's leader, but just two years later Bevanji overthrew Buhari and installed himself as leader with Abacha second in command. Although Abacha promised a return to democracy elections were held in 1993 and were won by Masud Abiola. A Yoruba business tycoon a candidate supposedly supported by Bebanji Da, who, however, annulled the elections and set up a civilian interim government, which Abacha quickly overthrew. His actions were anything but democratic. He banned political activity of any kind, fired a large portion of the military, controlled the press, and assembled a personal security force of some 3,000 men. Abiola and Olusegun Obasanjo a former military leader of Nigeria from 1976 to 1979 and a civilian president from 1999 to 2007, were jailed for treason. Wol Soyinka, Nigeria's Nobel laureate, was also charged with treason, although he had voluntarily left the country. Perhaps Abacha's most brutal act was the imprisonment, trial, and subsequent execution for treason of writer Ken Sarawiba and other Aganai activists who were concerned with the environmental exploitation of their region by multinational petroleum companies. Abacha's sudden death in June 1998 moved along the process of returning the country to civilian rule. His military successor, Abdusalam Abubakar, oversaw the return to an elected civilian government in 1999. This is not the first time such huge amounts has been recovered from foreign accounts owned by Sani Abacha or one of his relatives for example. When Obasanjo left office in 2007 he reportedly secured the release of 2 billion U.S. dollars both in cash and assets looted by the late Abacha regime. In this same note on June 27, 2018 a hooping $322 million as reportedly recovered as well from a Swiss account linked to late Sani Abacha. Little why one wonders why one of Sani Abacha daughters said in an interview that no matter how poor they might be that they cannot be broke like Dangote. Like what, you cannot possibly imagine such amount of money her father looted for her to say such. Since the news of the recent recovery many Nigerians have been ranting on social media with heavy backlash and a hashtag on popular social media Twitter blaming him for the current situation of the nation. While some simply make a joke out of it but whichever way the, the news of the current discovered loot is not settling well with Nigerians. This recent one is by far one of the many in the past and I believe there is still more to come. Please like comment and subscribe to my channel for more insightful entertainment news and gossip.